Welcome to my channel. This is Sam, and I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. So, what I did was we went to a city that is civilized enough to grow industries around it. But I have so many things I have to do in the wild. Let me show you my logbook. Fisher of fish. I'll post 13 legendary fish to him. Test of Faith, Deborah Mackins. for necklace I don't know Sadie has asked for a harmonica Jack has asked for a penny dreadful book inspect the photographs or details of the counseling competition Check properly. There is one mission here, and uh, to find those. Is this the? The treasure should be marked in the map, right? But it's not. Maybe I will go for swing this in. There is a Adler Ranch here. I will mark this place. I want to go there. Fort Wallace. Maybe we will fight to go there. And what the hell is this? Grizzly, grizzlies. Oh, grizzlies. Okay. This is a veteran's homestead. Three sisters. Annie's Bethel. Look at the place's names. The tree farm. This is like Lance, Lance or something. It's written in bizarre form. Get it. This is Cornwall, Kerosene, and Jar. Maybe I will go there, but 
today i will uh, the closest place to this adler ranch is this cairn lake uh, tempest stream on deadwood creek lake isabella and the closest mission is here so we we'll just mark it Straight. Take this left here. from this side maybe I will find a way let's see Dead? Just a little push. I cannot believe it. She's dead. Come on, man. That's just ridiculous. I'm very close to this. Clothing, reinforced equipment. So, how you doing? We'll buy this one. Oyster. I don't like this. One of a kind pelts make one of a kind garments. Worth the legwork, I assure you. Oh man. This is death roll. It's good, but it's locked. Ever been down in Gap Tooth Ridge? Local legend speaks of a white cougar. Giaguro. I think it's well, no legend. I saw it once for a second. No point chasing. It's gone. I already have a tomahawk. Tell a tell store at the back. The jackals will be picked up as close to the trappers gone to put in the chapel. I will go for the first time. Come on, Invisible.
You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I shall kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. Wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How are you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Green door? Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Oh, uh, nothing much back there. I'm afraid of just a, a few old books. Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? I was back here. Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door. Now. Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scoot of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Oh, hello? Callate, callate. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Help, please. Los de aquí. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. <laughs> ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're going to be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. What is in this chest? I 
I cannot open it. Okay then. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. Come on, you arrived. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's, well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come, let's go get something to eat. Manger, comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes, thank you, I, uh, here. Payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Okay. <laughs> I lost some of my honor while looting that asshole. And then got back some honor for saving this shit holes. Don't kill me like that. Yeah, Come on. I'm just to go straight. Somebody must be here. Hello, sir. Hello. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Who is this guy? Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? For me personally? Mm, I don't know. What do you do? Mostly I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. How very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. <laughs> art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art. It's for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. That was a small encounter. 
so next we go to this one maybe that's the sheriff office mm, yeah I will also try that one how far is this my drive so maybe I can take it. Again, I have to kick right. Okay. Is this mission inside? I don't think so. I just came in rushing. Howdy, Mister. Probably stand at above. Distance in blue. Hello, sir. Show us a gun you crack, cowboy. Straight for something. Oh, no. Hey there. My mistake. But do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No nope. strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not. The marsh things of knowledge. What is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen. I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport or cause? Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine... It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Doctor Elden at Rhodes Station. But Rhodes is now a hot zone. I think I see some guy in that I can talk to and this one friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that are worse! Don't hurt him, please! We'll be at the cathedral. Bastard! 
You all right? Oh, how the kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no different watch. Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ah, Down. I mean, I, hey, help. I, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. What the? What the? What the? F this is not good, man. That man just made me. Wanted man. Long men are waiting everywhere. It's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges used. Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... Oh, he's fine, oh, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but 
My mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, father? Brother Dorkin's father. I told you. Officer, how are you? Okay, I see another. Let me go there. There's only one in front. No, that's the part of it. I'm going right. I'm going to get in right. Take right. But for a second, the delegation is doing something. I then... am an American. Come on, people. Let me vote. It's a national disgrace. I don't see that mark anymore. Okay, more question marks appearing on my map. First, I will do that one. doing here sure less than a minute I promise uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall Quincy? a shelter for homeless veterans and their families how the hell help? Bleach? a donation of $20 would put us well on our way Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Should have told that she only needed donation. Monsieur? My horse is pretty far away. Where is my horse? There. I don't think he can. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Okay, so running it is now. There is something here. I will check it out. Oh, Dutch is here waiting for something. But I want to do that first, then come to Dutch. Find it in your heart to give to those who gave everything. Your 
Surely this will take me some time. So from the next video I will try to explore more. Uh, Sometime up some other way. Just roll me out now. I ran all the way to do this. Okay, there. Ah. Hey, partner. Howdy, sir. Howdy, fellers. Mister. Good day so far. Mm -hmm. Anyway, take care, folks. Till next time. Serious. All of uh, you, Mister, excuse me. Demon, Mister. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point? I say. Yeah. Good evening. Why am I following? I don't know. But this guy. I had a mission for me. Now I can't find that mission because this guy is roaming around. Let's articulate your problem. Hey there. I think it's time to go back to Dutch because this guy just fucked up. We are done. Hey, Mister. Not even, sir. What is wrong with you? Leave me alone! Let me be! Away with you!
bye guy you're useless what the hell is your problem have a nice evening bonsoir monsieur whoa hey you got my attention now watching you i hear young push there so let's just let's buy this he finally escaped. Um, Let's see, I will go see that. What's he up to? He's just sitting in this park or some place. So long. There you are. Your boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, we're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <coughs> You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Okay. This was unexpected. No worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? This guy wants Indeed to die so bad. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is a very still woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to a grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. And we are off to fucking. Robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No, I. Yeah. No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, I also rode by it. You I did good. Walked oh, by your it. tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. Yes, I also think so. This is the graveyard. We found Bronte. We got in there. Touch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaites were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. The Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. 
time. I had a bit to drink. A friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'll check this way. I think that. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. What was that? Hey, John. Over here. Get in cover. And we'll bust the door in. We've hit the big time. Grave robber stash. We can't yeah. go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Shit, it's the law. Let's go, maybe we... Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. We best stick to the side.
Dutch. your host Hi. like i said you took your time wow. i'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank mr good. bronte you for right. everything yeah i'm fine come on you know arthur mr bronte has invited Bloody us to a garden Bloody party Bloody. at the mayor's house <laughs> and us just simple country boys there. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Ah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm. I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. It looks like worms. Is that right? Papa Bronte That's the me best lots description of, of spaghetti. Don't call Why him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. Yeah, unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They said he was good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack! 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 How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? 
Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, boys safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Or some money also. Hundred twelve dollars. So it's already uh, one hour. So we'll start from here in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. Next, in the next video, I will try to go to this place. Where is it? Uh, this Adler Ranch. Maybe I have to I have been there before but I will still go for that place. Because it looks interesting, right? And Jack told us something about leaving that book. Maybe I will find something here, I don't know. We'll go there. Then I will find any other weird looking place. I also do that. Start looking, doing those weird places. This places look like I have been to this place I think yeah Dakota River I did not find anything but I also have to go here oh no so I'm no, not here the, the roads to get information I uh, don't have any jobs right now, but soon I think we'll have some. So, bye guys. Have a good day. See you soon. What is this? Is this my mark? Did I do this? Mark up. So it's something that is actually there. Oh, I think I pressed two point or something. Yeah. So I got it. See you guys soon. Bye. Why can't I save? Man, one save is. Can I now? What the fuck? Still can't say what I'm You okay, boy?
Why can't I save camp right now? This is ridiculous, man. I can't save. Marian Williamson. I forgot about one thing that we have rooms now. So our lodging should be inside. I got the corner one. This is my room. So I have a lot of fast travel with this map here. Let's see what points do I get to fast travel. Let me see if I can save now. At least for I, uh, I think I have Now it's giving me the same. Yeah, forty percent. Bye, guys.